Hello, my name is Mark Fennell, and today I'm going to talk to you about the difference between wavelength and penetration for electromagnetic energy. When I first started studying electromagnetic energy, this is one of the main things that bothered me. There were several phenomena that I didn't want, that I didn't understand and wanted to, and I have made discoveries on, but this was one of the main ones that always troubled me. This is because of their lack of logic. The logic argument goes like this. Gamma waves are very short, therefore gamma rays penetrate. Now, think about that for a second. Waves are short, therefore they penetrate easily. Waves are a length, a distance. Penetration implies a height. Distance, height. Distance, height. That concept always bothered me. I knew there was something wrong. Let me give you an analogy. The cat door. I have a cat. I love my cat a lot. And I'm very familiar with cat doors. Now let's say that you wanted to walk through a cat door. You're going to build up all your energy. You're going to go running and you go slam into the wall. Onto the ground. You walk slowly. You hit the wall. You don't fall down, but it still hurts. No matter how fast or how slow that you walk or run, you are not getting through that cat door simply because you are too tall. Same thing with a photon. If the photon is too tall, it's not getting through the space. Similarly, consider our cat. The cat can walk through the door at any pace he wants. He can amble on through it slowly, right, right on through. He can run right through the door, goes very fast through it. He can do that not because of his speed, but because he's short. His height is small enough to make him go through the cat door, whereas you, as a human, will slam into the wall. Thus, speed, your wavelength, your pace, all these different things is not anywhere relevant to penetration. You have to have the height of the photon in order to make that work. So what is the actual correlation? It has been observed that gamma waves do penetrate more easily. So there is a correlation, but what is that? There's actually a root cause. The root cause is energy. As it turns out, the amount of energy determines a wavelength. But something that I've also discovered is that the amount of energy also determines the height. I will explain in a subsequent video how energy will make the height of a photon. But for right now, just know that it does. So, a high energy photon will have a short wavelength. A high energy photon will also have a small height. This is why gamma has a short wavelength and a short height, making it very easy to penetrate. This is the true correlation. It's not that the wavelength is penetration, it's a correlation. And the correlation is because of the same root cause, the amount of internal energy. So remember that the next time you want to try to walk through a cat door. Doesn't matter how fast you're going to do it, it ain't going to happen. And that is today's video.